today's topic is both algorithm a multiplication algorithm so let us begin with our discussion what is a both algorithm okay so both algorithm is a multiplication algorithm to multiply the two signed binary integers in two complement so the numbers we will be representing here in is two complement form which is the very popular uh, way or uh, the computer inside our computer architecture numbers are represented by in its two complement form and also it uh, is a signed binary integers we can treat the numbers whether it's positive or negative individually so positive number representation and the negative number representation so also it supports and we will get the product with the proper sign of multiplication also used to speed up the performance of the multiplication process so last class we discussed about the two multiplication method sequential multiplier and array multiplier both of them having its own advantages and disadvantages the disadvantages in both of them will be uh, uh, will be uh, what you call uh, will be overcome with the help of this uh, both algorithm so speed um uh, hardware disadvantages um adu randilum undayirna disadvantages namukku both algorithm vachu namukku overcome ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും നെക്സ്റ്റ് വെരി എഫിഷ്യൻ്റ് അൽഗോരിതം ആ സീക്വൻസ് അൽഗോരിതവും വട്ട് യു സേ അറേ അൽഗോരിതവും അറേ മൾട്ടിപ്ലയർ വെച്ച് കമ്പയർ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ ഇതിൻ്റെ എഫിഷ്യൻസി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ബെറ്റർ ആണ് it works on the strings bits zeros in the multiplier that requires no additional bit only shift the rightmost string bits so adayidu nammude multiplier le oru series of zeros undengil nammude multiplication process valare easy aanu namukku onnum cheyanda avashyamilla only the accumulator partial product to shift to the right എം എസ് ബി ബിറ്റ്സിന് എം എസ് ബി ബിറ്റ്സിലേക്ക് എൽ എസ് ബി ബിറ്റ്സിലേക്ക് നമുക്ക് ഷിഫ്റ്റ് ചെയ്താൽ മാത്രം മതിയാകും റൈറ്റ് ഷിഫ്റ്റ് ചെയ്താൽ മാത്രം മതിയാകും ആൻഡ് ഇതാണ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള പോയിൻറ്റ് നമ്മളുടെ മൾട്ടിപ്ലയറിലെ സീരീസ് ഓഫ് വൺസ് ഇൻ മൾട്ടിപ്ലയർ ബിറ്റ് വെയ്റ്റ് ടു റേസ് ടു കെ ടു വെയ്റ്റ് ടു റേസ് ടു എം ക്യാൻ ബി കൺസിഡർ ആസ് ടു റേസ് ടു കെ പ്ലസ് വൺ മൈനസ് ടു റേസ് ടു എം അതായത് കെത്ത് പൊസിഷൻ മുതൽ എംത്ത് പൊസിഷൻ വരെ നമ്മളുടെ മൾട്ടിപ്ലയറിൽ വൺസ് കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് ആയിട്ട് വരുവാണെങ്കിൽ ആ നമ്പറിന് ടു റേസ് ടു കെ പ്ലസ് വൺ മൈനസ് ടു റേസ് ടു എം എന്ന് പറയുന്ന നമ്പർ കൊണ്ട് മൾട്ടി ൈ ചെയ്യുന്നതായിട്ട് നമുക്ക് എടുക്കാൻ പറ്റും എന്താണെന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ സപ്പോസ് നമുക്കൊരു മൾട്ടിപ്ലിക്കൻ്റ് ഉണ്ട് എനി വേ എനി നമ്പർ എ മൾട്ടിപ്ലിക്കൻ ആൻഡ് നമ്മളുടെ മൾട്ടിപ്ലയറിൻ്റെ ഓർഡർ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സീറോ സീറോ ദെൻ വൺ 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 സീറോ ഇതാണ് മൾട്ടിപ്ലയറിൻ്റെ മൾട്ടിപ്ലയറിൻ്റെ ഓർഡർ വൺസ് സോ നമ്മളുടെ വൺസിൻ്റെ ഓർഡർ വന്നിരിക്കുന്നത് നോക്കിയാൽ ടു റേസ് ടു സീറോയിൽ ഒരു സീറോ ടു റേസ് ടു വണ്ണിൽ വൺ ടു റേസ് ടു 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 റേസ് ടു ത്രീ ടു റേസ് ടു ഫോർ 2 raised to 5 then 2 raised to 6 and 7 are zeros so this is the number actually so our number is what do you mean by this operation is m into 2 raised to 5 1 into 2 raised to 5 plus 1 into 2 raised to 4 plus 2 raised to 3 plus 2 raised to 2 plus 2 raised to 1 plus 0 into 2 raised to 0 we can neglect we can omit that term so this is actually the multiplier represents 2 raised to 4 which if you add in the in the order of 2 raised to 5 is 32 2 raised to 4 16 8 4 then 1 2 raised to 1 is 2 if you add all you will get m into 62 this is actually we mean m into 0011110 which is nothing but in decimal order m into 62 so here our uh, first one appears at the 2 raised to 1 position that means in this representation m equal to 1 and the last one appears at the fifth position that means k is equal to 5 so the same operation of m into 2 raised to 5 plus m into 2 raised to 4 plus m into 2 raised to 3 plus m into 2 raised to 2 plus m into 2 which needs m into 5 number of shift and 1 2 3 4 4 four additions okay it requires that many operations we can treat the number as m into 2 raised to k plus 1 what is k k is 5 2 raised to 6 minus m in 2 raised to m 2 raised to 1 which is equal to m in the 2 raised to 6 is 64 minus 2 raised to 1 is 2 64 minus 2 is uh, m in do 60 so here it appears only six times the shift operation and one subtraction so here we have uh, shift operation also it here also there we need to implement it with the four multiplicate four addition here the same four addition is replaced with the one subtraction only that is advantage so both of these operation will give you the same result m into 0011110 this way we can improve the speed of operation this is same like the multiplication of any number say 
P into 99 we can in decimal system P into 99 we can make symbol as P into 100 minus 1 99 we can replace it to 100 minus 1 that is the method of replacing the series of ones in the binary strings multiplier with this way of uh, subtraction okay so that is anyway we will see the multiplication algorithm in detail okay how the multiplication algorithm works okay before that let us have a discussion on multiplication algorithm Suppose our uh, multiplicand is our multiplicand is say any number uh, mm, say m m is our multiplicand okay and our multiplier uh, multiplier is say uh, a is equal to a thirty one a thirty a thirty a twenty nine etc etc a five a four a three a two a one a zero okay so a zero being its lsb and a thirty one will be its msb that is the way of representing a thirty two bit number so we are, we are uh, using this multiplication algorithm to implement a thirty two bit multiplier where a thirty one is in two complement representation a thirty one represent sign bits okay what is sign bits if that bit is zero it indicates the number is positive if that bit is one it indicates our number is negative so while representing a number in its two complement form this a is represented by a 31 into minus 2 raised to 31 plus a 30 into 2 raised to 30 plus a 29 into 2 raised to 29 plus etc a 2 into 2 raised to 2 plus a 1 into 2 raised to 1 plus a 0 into 2 raised to 0 this is the way of representing the same a in its two complement form in uh, computer architecture so that is why this number is a negative number if f 31 is 0 this remaining will be effective and that indicates a positive number if a 31 is 1 then 1 into minus 2 raised to 31 makes a minus number plus a positive number that represents the sum a minus 2 raised to 31 will be a bigger number and this summation will be half of this minus 231 approximately or equal to so which makes the number a 31 by minus 2 uh, um, 1 into minus 2 by 31 by 2 this whole sum will makes approximately minus 2 raised to 31 divided by 2 okay that it's a um, negative number so minus 2 raised to 31 uh, by 2 to etc uh, etc et to 0 to 2 raised to 31 by 2 minus 1 will be the range of numbers in two's complement representation anyway that is not to the scope of this explanation you can refer to two's complement representation of a number in computer architecture okay so anyway this is the number now now we want to implement this multiplication so what is the operation m into a is our operation so m into what is then uh, uh, let me start from the LSB. So A0 2 raised to 0 plus A1 2 raised to 1 plus A2 2 raised to 2 plus etc etc plus A29 2 raised to 29 plus uh, what will you say A30 2 raised to 30 plus A31 into minus 2 raised to 31. This is actually our multiplication. Okay then. Here in this multiplication process, we will take one. So suppose this is a, a, a zero. We will assume there is a, a digit. There is an LSB before a zero. Or say we will introduce. Uh, let a minus one is. Uh, we assume it as zero. A bit before a zero a minus one which is equal to the beginning we'll assume it as zero it's a bit before a zero will be there so here we are going to explain to you i am going to explain to you anyway we will be comparing two bits at the same time same time 
so in the previous algorithms we have taken only one bit last bits and if it is one we will add the multiplicand uh, multiplier or multiplicand uh, if it is zero we'll add a zero only but here instead of one bit comparison we will be comparing here two bits according to two bits we'll operate our algorithm so we will take a minus one as a zero bit a bit before a zero so since this bit is zero we can treat that number here also so let it be m in do since it is 0 a minus 1 2 raised to 0 plus a 0 2 raised to 0 plus a 1 2 raised to 1 plus etc etc plus a a 29 2 raised to 29 plus a 30 2 raised to 30 plus a 31 minus 2 raised to 31 this is our multiplicand multiplier multiplication operation now this 2 raised to 0, what do you mean by actually 2 raised to 0? 2 raised to 0 is actually 1. We can write 2 raised to 0 as 2 raised to 1 minus 2 raised to 0. How it is? 2 raised to 1 is 2 minus 2 raised to 0 is 1 which is equal to 1. So 2 raised to 0 we can replace with 2 raised to 1 minus 2. So I am explaining, listen, a, one, a minus 1 into 2 raised to 0 as it is plus from this 2 raised to 0 which is equal to a 0 into 2 raised to 1 minus 2 raised to 0 plus a 2 into 2 raised to how we can replace 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 1 is actually 2 then this also we can write that 2 raised to 2 minus 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 2 is 4 4 minus 2 is 2 so 2 raised to 1 is 2 2 raised to 2 minus 2 raised to 1 is also 2 so 2 raised to 1 I am going to replace here with the 2 raised to 2 minus 2 raised to 1 plus then here uh, a 2 into 2 raised to 2 also there that we can represent so um, a1 into sorry this is a1 into a2 into 2 raised to 2 is actually 4 this we can write it as 2 raised to 3 minus 2 raised to 2 2 raised to 3 is 8 8 minus 4 is also 4 so both are same so 2 raised to 2 we can replace with the uh, 2 raised to 3 minus 2 raised to 2 plus etc so uh, 2 raised to 2 become 2 raised to uh, 2 plus 1 2 raised to 3 so etc etc plus in this order a raised to uh, 2 raised to 29 a 29 into 2 raised to 29 we can write it as 2 raised to 29 plus 1 is 30 minus 2 raised to 29 plus uh, a raised to 30 we can write it as uh, a 3 0 into 2 raised to 31 minus 2 raised to 30 plus what will you say a 31 into 2 raised to 31 because we don't want to have the 2 raised to 32 term here so I am leaving that a 31 into 2 raised to 31 that is our multiplication process okay forget the bracket okay time being now the same multiplication operation how we can rearrange m into uh, what will you say a ra a minus 1 2 raised to 0 then here a 0 into minus 2 raised to 0 so 2 raised to 0 term i am going to combine here so a minus 1 then minus 2 a 0 minus 2 a mi minus 2 raised to 0 a 0 so this term become minus so i can replace it a minus 1 minus a 0 into 2 raised to 0 plus now here a 0 into 2 raised to 1 is there minus a 1 into 2 raised to 1 is also there so what are the coefficient of 2 raised to 1 here a 0 is there and minus a 1 is there so a 0 minus a 1 into 2 raised to 1 plus then a1 into 2 raised to 2 coefficient of 2 raised to 2s are a1 and 2 raised to 2 here is minus a2 so we can replace it with a1 minus a2 into 2 raised to 2 plus etc etc now here in this expansion a29 raised to 2 raised to 30 is there then minus a13 2 raised to 30 is there so coefficient of 2 raised to 30 is r a29 minus a30 into 2 raised to 30 plus then uh, what is the a30 into 2 raised to 31 is there a30 into 2 raised to 31 and uh, a31 into 2 raised to 31 so uh, something went wrong what are the 2 raised to 30 2 raised to 31 a30 into
sorry here also it will raise to 31 uh, it is minus 2 actually in this here it was minus minus 2 raised to 2 raised to 31 so 2 raised to 31 orders are uh, a 2 raised to a 29 minus a 30 a 29 a 29 minus uh, a 30 a 29 minus a 30 into 2 raised to 30 what is coming next mm, plus a 31 into minus 2 raised to 31 so here was our mistake it was a 31 into a 31 into minus 2 raised to 31 a 31 into minus that was our mistake so a 29 minus a 30 into 2 raised to 30 plus a 31 into minus 2 raised to 31 this is actually our multiplication process now now see look at the expan uh, expansion of our multiplication process which is equal to m into a minus 1 minus a 0 into 2 raised to 0 plus a 0 minus a 1 into 2 raised to 1 plus a 1 minus a 2 into so here we have taken the difference between the consecutive uh, bits in our multiplier now the different the multiplier bits can be 1 and 0 only so both can be 1 both can be 0 1 can be 0 1 another can be 1 or this these are the four possibilities of our con consecutive A's okay so the difference possibilities are if both are 0 if both are 0 this difference becomes 0 if both are 1, this difference will be 0. If this is 1 and this is 0, then difference will be plus 1. If here 0, here 1, this difference will be minus 1. So, continuous difference, consecutive difference between the two bits in our multiplier, three possibilities are there. So, the difference can be 0 or plus 1 or minus 1. If 0, what are the cases? If con con uh, consecutive bits are 0 or 1, then the difference will be 0. We don't want to take this term. Okay, A0 minus A1, 1 minus 1, 0, 0 into raised to 1. We can neglect that term. 0 minus 0 into 2 raised to 1. We can neglect that term. Then 1 minus 0 into 2 raised to 1. What do you mean by that? 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 into raised to 1. We need to add 2 raised to 1 in times multiplier. Okay, so 2... 2 raised to 1 times multiply multiplicand we need to add in this how we can get this 2 raised to 1 we need to shift right only so 2 raised to 1 then this become 1 means indicates addition now a0 is 0 and a1 is 1 what will then 0 minus 1 makes minus 1 what is minus 1 it is subtraction so minus 1 into m so we need to subtract the multiplicand then add so the operation of multiplication complicated multiplication simplifies to a1 minus a0 is equal to 0 cases only shift right the multiplicand or shift right the accumulator and a0 minus a1 if it is positive add your multiplicand then uh, what you say shift if a1 a0 minus a1 is minus 1 then you make the subtraction then shift right to your accumulator so that is the operation of multiplicand and multiplier in both algorithm complicated process become addition or subtraction then shift operation now addition and uh, multiplication how and when is possible so addition is possible if Qn, that's uh, bit and that test, Qn and uh, Qn plus 1 is. So Qn, actually it is Qn minus Qn plus 1. The operation is Qn minus Qn plus 1. Qn minus Qn plus 1 is plus 1. Means if the order is 1, 0. If the first bits, first one available to our uh, multiplicand or multiplier from the LSB, it proceeds to addition. If it is 1, 0 or 0, 1, Qn is 0, Qn is 0 and Q n plus 1 is 1. So, 0 minus 1, it becomes minus 1. It leads to subtraction operation, then shift our accumulator. So, that is the uh, multiplication process in uh, both algorithm. Let us see the algorithm in detail. So, during the multiplication process, what we will do, 
we will start operation so start your multiplication process we are going to have uh, some registers here we will start with our accumulated content zero so accumulator is also uh, accumulator we have a register uh, ac we will call it as ac register we will be storing our multiplicand in a br register br instead of b previous it was b and a only here it is br we will copy here our multi multiplicand not multiplier multiplier it is multiplicand then uh, what you say qr is there is one more register we call it as qr register we will copy down here our multiplier so multiplier in qr accumulator we initialize with the uh, 0 0 0 multiplicand will copy exactly what is our uh, uh, so br will copy to multi uh, br will copy with our multiplicand and the qr with our multiplier then there is a flag we call it as qn plus 1 we will initialize it with zero so these are all our initialization part and we will check z multiplicand uh, first multiplier first bit and the next bit so qn and qn plus 1 remember we will initialize with uh, qn plus 1 is equal to zero Q qn qn plus 1 qn qn plus 1 and the operation hope you remember qn minus qn plus 1 is our uh, multiplication uh, difference uh, order so qn minus qn plus 1 so qn qn plus 1 is 0 1 0 1 means what 0 minus 1 okay and the qn qn plus 1 qn qn plus 1 is 1 0 so these two cases we need to do addition or subtraction and if both bits are zeros or both bits are ones we need to shift only we don't want to because that difference goes to zero we don't want to do the real multiplication or adding the multiplicand we need to do the ashr ashr means accumulator shift arithmetic shift right not accumulator arithmetic shift right accumulator and uh, qr okay and uh, Uh, yes see sequence counter will uh, decrease to uh, decrease by 1 so sequence counter is initialized with the n as many bits are there in our multiplier will be copied or initialized with our sequence counter so if there is 32 bit we will do the operation in 32 times so on once it counts zero uh, the we will terminate our process so we will check back our sc if sc is zero will terminate our process if sc is equal not zero we will uh, return back to this process will come back the so here we did the shift right operation so next lsb bits next msb bits comes to the lsb position will compare the consecutive bits if it is 0 1 qn qn plus 1 is 0 1 then what we will do we will do the accumulator addition accumulator is added with the uh, our uh, br register which is nothing but our multiplicand then we will shift the our accumulator a and the qr register right one time then decrement if the bit is bits are 1 0 if the bits are 1 0 qn is 1 or sorry 0 uh, uh, qn is 0 and qn plus 1 is 1 it leads to subtraction remember subtraction to complement uh, is adding the number so uh, actually the subtraction is addition with the two complement subtraction of multiplier multiplicand is we did the br complement one take the one complement plus one hope you remember the two complement representation of a number how we can get the two complement number take that to one complement then add one that two complement add with the accumulator then discard the carry that is actually the subtraction operation in two complement we don't want to discuss the operation here so this is actually represent subtraction operation okay so even it's represented with the plus it indicates subtraction operation here be not br it is br plus 1 it is two complement okay so 0 1 indicates our corresponding operation is addition with uh, of multiplicand with accumulator then perform shift right then 1 0 corresponds to subtraction of multiplicand from the accumulator then proceed with the shift right operation every time decrement you are uh, sequence counter by 1 then proceed with the zero or non zero checking non zero repeat the process if both consecutive bits are 0 0 or 1 1 no need to do any addition or subtraction operation proceed with the shift right then decrement the counter then last once the sequence counter become zero will terminate our process so that is a multiplication uh, in booth algorithm next let us see an example how a multiplication is 
uh, implemented in both algorithm so in this algorithm qn plus 1 is the lsb bit this is our lsb bit and qn will be with the next msb bit so here i actually qn minus 1 qn minus qn plus 1 is wrong actually here it is qn plus 1 minus qn in our explanation hope you remember it was a1 minus a2 present bit minus next uh, uh, left bit okay so qn plus 1 minus qn is the right method so qn plus qn qn plus 1 become 0 1 so 1 minus 0 qn plus 1 is 1 and qn is 0 1 minus 0 makes 1 so addition and 1 0 means qn plus 1 is 0 and qn is 1 so 0 minus 1 make minus 1 so it will go to subtraction so that is the operation in uh, <coughs> both algorithm next let us have a example for uh, multiplication with booth algorithm consider the multiplication between two negative numbers minus 9 into minus 13 okay now minus 9 say let it be our uh, multiplicand and the minus 13 is our multiplier now minus 9 how we can represent minus 9 minus 9 is be 1 for negative sign then 1 0 0 1 in its two's complement form it become 1 then 1 1 0 followed by 1 hope you remember how to make the one two's complement just uh, make the one's complement make plus 1 it will give you two's complement so br our br register is uh, our multiplicand represented by 1 0 triple 1 next minus 13 minus 13 is 1 because for minus sign then 1 1 0 1 then in the two's complement form it become 1 0 0 1 1 so our QR register is going to hold uh, 1 triple 0 1 1 or multiplier and the Q n plus 1 the least significant bits before that we are assuming a value a minus 1 in the explanation it is 0 here now this is our value so we are going to construct here a table say Q n Q n plus 1 where Q n plus 1 is the LSB bit and this is the next MSB bit last last MSB bit uh, LSB bit next bit so LSB bit the next uh, bit in the multiplier MSB and now then BR BR is equal to as our explanation 1 0 triple 1 then BR plus 1 complement of BR plus 1 which is nothing but the two's complement is given by 0 1 0 0 1 so if we are doing subtraction we are actually doing addition with the two's complement that is the method of subtraction with the two's complement so subtraction is nothing but addition with the two's complement that's why we wrote complement of br plus 1 is equal to starting for with the first lsb bit 1 invert the remaining so 1 becomes 0 1 become 0, 0 become 1, then 1 become 0. This is the method of writing the two's complement. Starting from the LSB, continue up to the first 1 from the LSB. So LSB itself is 1. Invert the remaining bits. Okay, that is the method. Anyway, it is not the scope of our explanation here. Now, the accumulator register, we will initialize it with the 0, 0, 0, 0, 5 bit zeros. Then QR is our multiplier register is having 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Then QN plus 1 is, as before explanation, it is 0. Then our uh, sequence counter is holding the number of bits as many as in our multiplier multiplier is having five bits so mm, sc uh, sequence counter is having five units and now the a operation or uh, remark okay so this is going to be the table entries okay then qn qn plus one for uh, comparison
okay so what is our operation here we'll compare qn plus 1 and qn so this is qn so qn here in the first step qn is 1 then qn plus 1 we assumed as 0 as 1 0 qn plus 1 minus qn what is the operation qn plus 1 minus qn 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 minus 1 minus qn is negative qn plus 1 minus qn if negative it is subtraction so 0 minus 1 is subtraction so operation is going to be subtraction okay what to subtract subtract qr complement of uh, br complement of br from accumulator so a uh, subtraction is nothing but what you say uh, two's complement uh, addition so ac plus br plus one we are doing here so operation here is ac plus complement of br plus one is performing and will be modified according accordingly with the, within the accumulator so ac is going to be zero 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 plus what is br plus b uh, complement of br plus one it is zero one zero zero one perform the addition one plus zero one zero plus zero 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 one plus zero one zero so this is the accumulator content after the addition so this is going to be zero one zero zero one okay qr bit as it is it was one double zero one one next it will perform before subtracting the sequence counter by one it will perform ashr ashr arithmetic shift right what is that operation keeping the msb bit as it is every bit from the uh, msb will shift towards the lsb so zero comes here this one will come here zero here this zero here one will lsb bit of the accumulator will move towards the msb bit of the qr so this one will come here then one then this zero then this zero then this one here this msb lsb bit of the qr will go to qn plus one so qn plus one will be modified by one and then sequence counter will be decremented by one so it is still non-zero value it will go back to the comparison again so what is the qn value now qn is one and the qn plus one is one okay so this is the first cycle operation after the first cycle operation let us have the accumulator and uh, qr register S sequence counter is still four we need to continue the operation again the comparison it is one 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 means what no addition no subtraction only we need to no operation basically only we need to perform arithmetic shift right with what are the content we are uh, uh, shifting here ac qr ac qr we are shifting so again this zero here zero will shift to the position the one here this one this zero here this zero will comes to here then one here this one here this zero here this zero here this one will shift to this position okay so this is the operation in the next cycle after this uh, shift operation sequence counter will be decremented by one so it become three so this is the uh, result after the second cycle okay still now the comparison entries are qn is zero qn plus one is one zero one so qn plus one minus qn become one minus zero so what is the operation it is addition so operation is addition with what accumulator what were the present content of accumulator and uh, br okay so operation is ac plus br will be performed because of addition let us check what is the content of ac now zero 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 one zero plus br br is one zero one 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 zero one 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 will perform the addition and let us check one plus zero one one plus one zero with the carry one to the left one again that carry plus one becomes zero there is a carry here and here is one and here is one so this is the accumulator content after the third cycle or the, uh, during the third cycle content is going to be 
one one zero zero one so let me write here one one zero zero one qr is not going to affect during the addition operation so this is zero one one zero zero and still it is uh, qn plus one is one then next operation is arithmetic shift right with ac and qr so what will happen uh, here must be bit as it is this one will shift here e1 in out take varum then zero here second zero ibada then e1 in out take shift him uh, zero in out take shift him one ibada shift him one ibada shift him zero ibada shift him but and the zero in out take shift down okay now content uh, sequence counter content will be reduced by one it become two okay so second uh, third operation also completed so third cycle first cycle second cycle third cycle still se is non zero it will go for the fourth cycle during the fourth cycle again it will do the comparison qn is zero qn plus one also zero so what is qn plus one minus qn it is zero so what is the operation no operation only the arithmetic shift right a such are only so what will happen one will come here as it is one in or take a shift down second one a third place like a third one a fourth place like a fourth zero fifth place like shift down e zero qr like a shift down one even a shift down zero in or take a shift one even a shift one even a shift zero q n plus one like above then since it is a such our next step is one okay it will be decremented by one still it is non zero value it will go for so fourth cycle also got over here okay next what is comparison entry comparison entry q n is one so it is going to be our fifth cycle qn here is one sorry qn here is uh, what is the value of qn yeah one then qn plus one is zero so one zero so one zero means qn plus one minus qn become negative negative means what it is going to be a subtraction so what is the subtraction operation actually a c plus complement of br plus one this is the method this is the one you need to keep in mind the subtraction means complement of br plus one so you should write br and br plus one here be a complement of br plus one here for taking the proper value so what is the let us perform what is the present content of accumulator Acc accumulator can is one 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 zero and the complement of br plus one is zero one zero zero one so zero one zero zero one okay do the addition one plus zero one one plus zero one one plus zero one one plus one zero one plus one zero then there is a carry from here so it become zero then here a one okay so uh, we can uh, neglect the carry here so this carry should neglect that is the method of uh, what you say subtraction two complement subtraction we will neglect the carry and take the bit remaining bits only it's not the scope of this explanation so if you are how doubts refer back to some uh, literature on uh, arithmetic or uh, two complement subtraction you please refer then the accumulator content uh, here is if there is a if there is a carry bit to one you need to neglect the carry and the uh, uh, accumulated content will be uh, zero zero one 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 so let me write here zero zero triple one then qr is as it is zero one zero one one okay it is not going to change then we need to perform arithmetic shift right ac and qr so uh, last bit uh, as it is then the zero here zero here one here one here this one will come here then zero then one the zero this one then this one will go to qn plus one okay then this is decremented by two uh, recommend recommended to zero so this count becomes zero so end of the fifth operation what was the fifth operation it was subtraction then after arithmetic shift right after then our sequence counter became zero count is a zero so it will leads to the termination of the process 
so what is the present value of the accumulator and the qr register that will be our product result so ac qr value here is 0 0 0 1 1 one zero one zero one okay so this is corresponds to two raised to zero so uh, it is one four sixteen then it is thirty two sixty four okay and the sign bit is zero so indicates a positive value so sixty four plus thirty two plus sixteen plus four plus one so twenty twenty one 23 53 53 plus uh, 4 117 so this product is equal to 117 since this is a zero value it is a plus value so this is same as 9 into minus 9 into 13 minus 9 so 13 into 9 also 3 into 9 70 27 remainder 2 19 9 plus 2 11 117 then minus into minus is plus so norm method of addition we are getting the same result 117 after the mm, both algorithm method our product is also 117 so both uh, pen pencil calculation paper pencil calculation also giving you 117 paper uh, booth algorithm method of multiplication also giving 117 even though our uh, uh, manual method of this calculation it uh, it seems quite difficult and complicated but in to implement in it in the computer hardware computer architecture is very easy so this booth algorithm got more advantages compared to what you say our uh, sequential multiplier and uh, array multiplier and somehow this speed booth algorithm itself is further modified for further simplifications lot of research are going on uh, in this booth algorithm or uh, modified booth algorithm still we are having the development on this so this is the method of booth algorithm So next is hardware for implementing the booth algorithm how we can implement it in the computer hardware so as we explained we are having three registers mainly br register which is holding our multiplicand multiple multiplicand value will be having in the br register as and when required br or uh, will be taken for performing the addition or subtraction as per the case may be then accumulator we will initialize it with a zero 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 whatever be the number of bits in the addition process same number of bits will be reserved in the accumulator register also and the qr register will be loaded with our multiplier qn plus one will be initialized with zero then lsb bits so these two bits will be compared every time it is shifted lsb bits will be shifted to here and next bit will be these two bits will be taken for the comparison and as for the comparison qn minus qn plus one minus qn okay if this is plus one it will perform addition if it is qn plus 1 minus qn is negative or minus 1 it will perform subtraction if qn plus 1 qn plus 1 qn plus 1 minus qn is 0 it will perform no operation only arithmetic shift right operation with the accumulator and qr register and the sequence counter will be loaded with the number of bits in the accumulator sorry number of bits in the multiplier okay sequence counter will be loaded with the number of bits in the multiplier so uh, first qn plus one will be initialized with zero compare it with the qn and the qn plus one if according to this operation qn minus one is qn plus one minus qn is positive number it will thus uh, this is nothing but an adder unit or adder circuit perform the addition n bit addition unit and uh, accumulator will be having the result after the addition operation okay so if the difference qn plus one minus qn or comparison qn plus one is one zero qn qn plus one is one zero it will perform the addition between the whatever be the content of accumulator and the br register and the result will be available then it will perform shift right with the keeping msb bits as and same it will perform what you say 
ഷിഫ്റ്റ് റൈറ്റ് ഓപ്പറേഷൻ അരിത്തമെറ്റിക് ഷിഫ്റ്റ് റൈറ്റ് മേ റൈറ്റ് ഓപ്പറേഷൻ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ നോട്ട് ചേഞ്ച് ദ സൈൻ ഓൾവേസ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ കീപ് സീറോ ഇൻ ദ എം എസ് ബി ബിറ്റ്സ് സോ ദാറ്റ്സ് വൈ എസ് എച്ച് ആർ അഗെയിൻ ദെൻ പെർഫോം ദ കമ്പാരിസൺ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദ എൽ എസ് ബി ആൻഡ് ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് എം എസ് ബി ദെൻ ഇറ്റ് അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ദിസ് അൽഗോറിതം ഇറ്റ് വിൽ പെർഫോം അരിത്തമെറ്റിക് ഷിഫ്റ്റ് റൈറ്റ് ഓർ അഡീഷൻ ഓർ സബ്രാക്ഷൻ ആസ് പെർ ദ കേസ് മേ ബി എവറി ടൈം സീക്വൻസ് കൗണ്ടർ വിൽ ബി ഡിക്രിമെൻറ്റഡ് ബൈ വൺ ദ കൺറ്റ് വിൽ കണ്ടിന്യൂ ദിസ് ഓപ്പറേഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഡെൽ ദ സീക്വൻസ് കൗണ്ടർ ബിക്കം സീറോ വൺസ് സീക്വൻസ് കൗണ്ടർ ബിക്കം സീറോ the whole operations will be terminated and the content of accumulator and the qr register together will represent the product of multiplier and uh, multiplicand that is actually what is our booth algorithm